Want to speak real Hebrew from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at HebrewPod101.com. Hi everyone, Edith here. Welcome to Hebrew Top Words. And today we are going to talk about 10 ways to motivate yourself when learning Hebrew. Let's get started. אני מדמיין שיום אחד אבקר או אגור במדינה הזו. I imagine that one day I will visit or live in Israel. אני מדמיין שיום אחד אבקר או אגור במדינה הזו. אני מדמיין שיום אחד אבקר או אגור במדינה הזו. I imagine that one day I will visit or live in Israel. If you do, that's great. Or at least visit, that's really nice. Um, it is a lovely place to visit. And it does motivate you to learn more because if you think that you can communicate with the local people, then it'll be much more fun. And I know from experience, like once you get there, it's harder than it seems and you kind of get all shy and it's hard to speak. But open up, you know, Israelis, they don't really care if you speak bad Hebrew. As long as you speak Hebrew, that's really nice. אני לומד גם היבטים אחרים של התרבות. מה שהופך את למידת השפה ליותר מתגמלת. I study other aspects of the culture too, which makes it more rewarding to study Hebrew. אני לומד גם היבטים אחרים של התרבות. מה שהופך את למידת השפה ליותר מתגמלת. אני לומד גם היבטים אחרים של התרבות. מה שהופך את למידת השפה ליותר מתגמלת. I study other aspects of the culture too, which makes it more rewarding to study Hebrew. Um, yeah, I mean, I think language and culture go hand in hand, and once you learn more about the language, you can know more about the culture and vice versa. Um, so, of course, it makes it more rewarding, especially if you're getting to a more like intermediate or advanced levels. Uh, that's definitely important, and it's really inseparable. אני אוהב למצוא מילים מצחיקות בשפה שאני לומד. I like to find funny words in Hebrew. אני אוהב למצוא מילים מצחיקות בשפה שאני לומד. אני אוהב למצוא מילים מצחיקות בשפה שאני לומד. I like to find funny words in Hebrew. There are plenty of those. Just one example, right? The word for teapot is kumkum. I mean, come on. <laughs> Broomstick is matate. Matate. To fund is lemamen. It's three mems. Lemamen. Lemamen. אני מתחבר עם אנשים שמדברים את השפה. I make friends with people who speak Hebrew. אני מתחבר עם אנשים שמדברים את השפה. אני מתחבר עם אנשים שמדברים את השפה. I make friends with people who speak Hebrew. Uh, that's always a good thing to make new friends no matter what. And especially if you can practice some language with them. Because you know what? When I was in high school, I used to study fr uh, French. And I was really good, but I didn't speak it to anybody. And now I kind of forgot everything. So that's a shame, isn't it? אני צופה בסרטוני יוטיוב של אנשים שהצליחו ללמוד עברית. I watch YouTube videos of other people who have successfully learned Hebrew. אני צופה בסרטוני יוטיוב של אנשים שהצליחו ללמוד עברית. אני צופה בסרטוני יוטיוב של אנשים שהצליחו ללמוד עברית. I watch YouTube videos of people who have successfully learned Hebrew. Yeah, that's really awesome because you can have like an inside information or insights about, you know, the struggles and how to learn better and really like kind of hacks on how to learn faster. Um, so if you find them, go ahead, do it. It's really good. So if you find anything interesting or something that you know of that's really good, uh, please link them in the comments below so other people could go there and have a look too and learn something. I enjoy using Hebrew to order at Israeli restaurants. אני אוהב להזמין בעברית במסעדות ישראליות. אני אוהב להזמין בעברית במסעדות ישראליות. I like using Hebrew to order in Israeli restaurants. Um, if you're going to Israeli restaurants abroad, like outside of Israel, most chances are that people there are from Israel, so you can kind of brush your Hebrew up and practice. Um, and obviously in Israel, that's a good opportunity to use it as well. Um, I live abroad as well, and 
one of the main places when I use my language skills is actually in restaurants and taxis. So yeah. אני רואה סרטים ותוכניות טלוויזיה, ונהנה מתחושת הסיפוק כשאני מבין מילה או משפט. I watch Hebrew movies and TV shows, and enjoy the feeling when I can understand a word or a sentence. אני רואה סרטים ותוכניות טלוויזיה, ונהנה מתחושת הסיפוק כשאני מבין מילה או משפט. אני רואה סרטים ותוכניות טלוויזיה, ונהנה מתחושת הסיפוק כשאני מבין מילה או משפט. I watch Hebrew movies and TV shows and enjoy the feeling when I can understand a word or a sentence. Um, yeah, this is really fun. I, I know the feeling. It's actually really satisfac- satisfactory. Um, the word for that, it's in the Hebrew sentence as well. That's sipuk. Sipuk is satisfaction. Um, and yeah, you really do feel it, when, especially when you're watching TV because people always talk so fast, you know? אני אקרא את התנ״ך בשפת המקור. I'll read the Bible in its original language. אני אקרא את התנ״ך בשפת המקור. I will read the Bible in its original language. אני אקרא את התנ״ך בשפת המקור. אני אקרא את התנ״ך בשפת המקור. I will read the Bible in its original language. Um, yeah, that's a good goal, even though the Bible is quite, I mean, it's ancient Hebrew, it's not easy. Uh, but it's a good challenge, at least for starters, especially if you know, like, the famous phrases, if you know them in your own language, you can compare. Um, so you can kind of defer the meaning, I mean, you can understand pretty much. Um, the word for Bible in Hebrew is actually an acronym. The word is Tanakh, and it means Torah. נביאים נ כתובים. The kaf becomes chaf and it becomes ta na ch. It's the Bible. אני צופה בסרטונים על מקומות תיירותיים בישראל. I watch videos of Israeli tourist places. אני צופה בסרטונים על מקומות תיירותיים בישראל. אני צופה בסרטונים על מקומות תיירותיים בישראל. I watch videos of Israeli tourist places. There are many of those in Israel, many tourist spots, many um, important historical landmarks. If you, if you were to see just one place, one famous landmark in Israel, I would say go to the Dead Sea. Even though it's not an historical landmark, it's extremely beautiful. Like you're driving for hours and hours in a desert that doesn't have anything growing. It's just stones and like All you can see is sand, and then all of a sudden there's like this big lake of water. And obviously you can't drink this water, but it's still beautiful. And you have like the Dead Sea mud, and people are kind of tanning, and they're floating on the water, like reading a newspaper and sitting on the water because it's so buoyant. Um, so it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's super buoyant. Like if you, if you lift your knee, I did that. <laughs> I picked up my knee because I wanted to make a big step, and I just kneed myself in the face. I just, you just want to take a big step and you're just, uh, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Be careful. אני מבשל אוכל ישראלי. I cook Israeli food. אני מבשל אוכל ישראלי. אני מבשל אוכל ישראלי. I cook Israeli food. Israeli food is very versatile. There are a lot of types of Israeli food. Um, and it's, quite healthy. I mean, usually their ingredients are quite fresh. It's not over-processed. Um, it's not overcooked or anything. It's just a very good, clean, fresh, local kitchen, um, which is great. Okay, guys, that's it. Those were 10 phrases to motivate yourself when you're learning Hebrew. Let me know in the comments below if you have other ways in which you motivate yourselves. Don't forget to check out HebrewPod101.com for more Hebrew, more videos, more content, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye, later out. Gal Gadot, yeah. If you want to say I love you Gal Gadot in Hebrew, you can say Ani ohev otach Gal Gadot. And if you're a woman like me, you can say Ani ohevet otach Gal Gadot. I'm sure she would appreciate it. I love her so much!